Hi there, Taurus. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at February 27 through March 5. And the big news this week is that Venus, your ruler, the goddess of love and money, is going out of phase in your 12th house of past karma, self renewal, and subconscious for the next six weeks, March 4 through April 14. Now, the Downside, there's always a downside, of course, to retrograde activity. And the downside is that it is something that doesn't happen very often. So sometimes it takes us by surprise just how powerful Venus retrograde is. And because Venus is the goddess of love, the Venus retrograde period is a deal breaker if you are planning to get married whilst Venus is out of phase, even engaged, moving in together is frowned upon by the astrological establishment. We consider it not to be a good move because Venus is not moving forward and so the judgment and the tests that, in ever, that inevitably follow such decisions and such major life commitments are not tested fairly. Although the next six weeks are not good for weddings, the upside of Venus retrograde is that it makes it easy, Taurians, to get rid of the last remains of that old flame still smoldering in the secret chambers of your heart, even if you're with somebody new. You might still be holding a candle for somebody old. And finally, you're going to find a way, or a way is going to find you, to rid yourself of those feelings and hopefully have feelings of peace, love towards them, but not in love with them and also forgiveness because you know whenever a relationship ends and you know you want to blame the other person or they want to blame you or it's not very often you say it was mutual it's 50 50 and we're going to be friends it, it never sort of works out that way there's always residual anger and now is your chance to rid yourself of that residual anger and move on and move on in a very positive way. Now, a Mars trine, Mars Saturn trine on Sunday, March 5 is super productive because it means that hard work and following the rules equals success. Now, that is something that many of you, you know, march to that sort of beat. You like to follow the rules. You like working hard. A lot of other signs don't. A lot of other signs make up the rules as they go along and get everybody else to do the hard work and then come in and get all the glory. So that partnership really works for you. Having such, you know, follow the rules type thing. It looks like a good weekend actually because that's the same day that a superior conjunction between the Sun and Mercury helps to ensure the communications are logical and objective. It's called superior because Mercury is moving fast and is at its furthest point from the Earth. So speaking to people, it's not as emotional, it's more subjective and objective. And that's a great way to have conversations with people. Have a wonderful week. Great speaking to you. And I'll speak to you again next week.